Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to integrate Jacopo Java Maven plugin with GitHub Actions. So as you know, what is Jacopo? Jacopo means Java Code Coverage. So let's start. So as you know, firstly, we need to create repository. After that, we need to add some files in our repository, right? That means project. So here we, you can see, I have a pro, I have a repository with the name Jacoco report Java Maven GitHub Actions. And in my repository, I have few files here, right? So you can see, so the first file is, sorry, so the first folder is SRC folder. So you can see in SRC folder, we have two folders, first main Java, after that test Java. In main Java, we have a file app.java file. So you can see in app.java file, the program of file, you can see. After that, next is test Java. So let's check. You can see app test.java, the program, right? So that's the SRC folder. The next is we have a file with the name dot git ignore file. Then after that, pom.xml file. So let's check in pom.xml file. Here you can see the code of pom.xml file and you can see, you can see group id com, uh, dot deoxin. So you can see the code of pom.xml file. So that's the project of Jacopo report Java Maven GitHub Actions. So here, if you don't have any project, then you can clone my repository. So as you know how to clone, copy the HTTPS, go to the code, copy the HTTPS, right? Okay. So here we have successfully created repository. After that, we have successfully added files in our repository, right? Okay. Now the next step is we need to create our workflow, right? So that's the main and important steps. So as you know how to create, so go to the add file and create a new file. And here, as you know how to create. So first of all, our folder name. So our folder name is dot GitHub, then slash, then workflows folder. And in workflows folder, our YAML file name. So my YAML file name is jacoco.yaml file. And here I'm going to paste my workflow here. Now let's understand our workflow line by line, right? Firstly, we need to understand our workflow. Then, so first of all here, you can see, this workflow builds a Java project and runs all JUnit tests and runs Jacoco to generate a test coverage report uses the Jacoco back generator and GitHub actions to generate instructions, coverage and branches coverage based from the Jacoco coverage report. Right. Okay. Now you can see our workflow. So first of all, as you can see the name build after that on push main branch and here i have added path so first path is here the java files after that next is our workflow right then pom.xml file okay then next is as you can see job so next our job name is jacoco java maven runs on ubuntu latest and then let's start for steps okay so the first step is checkout. So using the action checkout, right? So checkout the batch branch nested within the first checkout is a batch directory, right? Then the purpose of this step is multifactored and first the default branch of the repository has required checks, right? Then here, next is, as you can see, the Java, right? You can see set the JDK 17. The next is set up the JDK with the actions set, uh, set up Java GitHub actions, right? After that, now the next is here build with Maven, right? So build the library with Maven. These steps 
just the uh, just uses the shell to run maven directory right here the command you can see mvn hyphen b package and the p coverage right so this will build the library and run all j unit tests and the command line option p coverage enables a profile coverage from the project which configures jacoco to, to run during the here during the test phase right after that next phase here if i scroll down generate jacoco batch right so generate jacoco coverage batch with the jacoco batch generator github actions which i have developing maintaining for a while so here i am using batch directory and input to change the directory for where to store the batch and i am enabling generating a branch coverage batch with the generate branches batch input and the action generates an instruction coverage batch by default the additional branches coverage batch must be enabled and and also uh, here uh, the generate of json file containing the coverage percentage okay now the next is that's the log coverage percentage to workflow input right so here log uh, log the coverage and branches coverage percentage to the workflow output which may be useful when inspecting log of workflows run right so you can see here the print okay now the next stage here you can see upload jacoco coverage report right you can see the upload jacoco coverage report so the uh, action here you can see upload artifacts right so upload artifacts get up action to upload the complete coverage report generated by jacoco and earlier in step 4 so workflow artifacts and this may be useful if i need to inspect the coverage details provided by jacoco for a workflow for run then after that you can see comment on pr with coverage percentage so in this workflow run is not associated with a pr then commit and push the coverage batch and summary file to the batch branch and using shell commands since the workflow runs on pushes prs workflow dispatch events then this step will uh, specific uh, specifically runs on the pushes or workflow dispatch events right and then now you can see here guess the coverage in uh, sorry coverage info and you can see in this step here in coverage info so the coverage percentage and this step is implemented simply with the shell commands right and you can see the steps the coco output coverage and so on so that's the jacoco workflow right so let's commit a new file and let's check the actions so go to the actions and let's check okay so you can see our workflow the status is queue now the status is in progress so let's check so wait for few seconds you can see the setup jdk 7 17 done okay you can see okay you can see it's done right that means our workflow status success right okay now here
Now, if I go to the actions and now go to the build. Sorry, click on create jacobco.yaml file. That is our workflow. And you can see the status is success and the total duration 48 seconds and artifacts for. So if I click on artifacts, so you can see our artifacts name jacoco report and the size, right? So let's click on it. It's downloading. So you can see it's downloading the zip file, jacoco report.zip file. So let's open this zip file. And you can see index.html. So let's open index.html file. And as you can see the final output, you can see dot com DevOps in string and so on. You can see the final output, right? That means we have successfully integrated Jacoco Java Maven plugin with GitHub Actions. So thank you for watching.